She was the first African American to win the Pulitzer Prize. She was asked by J.F. Kennedy to recite a poem at a festival. She went to three different high schools as a teen. A Boy Died in My Alley by Gwendolyn Brooks. A boy died in my alley without my having known. A policeman said next morning, apparently died alone. You heard a shot? Shots I hear and shots I hear, I never see the dead. The shot that killed him, yes, I heard, as I heard the thousand shots before, careening tinnily down the nights across my years in arteries. Policemen pounded on my door. Police, who is it? Policeman yelled. A boy is dying in your alley. A boy is dead and in your alley. And have you known this boy before? I have known this boy before. I have known this boy before, who ornaments my alley. I never saw his face at all. I never saw his future fall, but I have known this boy. I have always seen him deal with death. I have always heard him shout the volley. I have closed my heart late and early, and I killed him ever. I joined the wild and killed him with knowledgeable unknowing. I saw where he was going. I saw him crossed and seen. I did not take him down. He cried not only father, but mother, brother, sister. The cry climbed up the alley. It went up to the wind. It hung upon heaven on a long swift strain of moment. The red floor of my alley is a special speech to me. My response poem is titled New Awakening by Kevin Sarabia. My mind was killed in my alley, though I have never shown. The killer had accomplices. Death was not worth a loan. Walking home on a hot October evening when the virus was attacked, thrown against the faceless car, my teeth and braces nailed into my gum. Screams screeched out of my mouth through my thirst like nails screeching against a glass wall. No one claimed to have heard the screams. No one claimed to have seen the blood. No one saw the pain. But everyone saw me as the suicidal boy who roamed the halls during lunch waiting for class to resume. I heard voices when there was no one around. I was screaming in my head. A voice dying to tell this story. No one truly cared. A boy was killed in my alley. That boy was me. Surrounded by pity, ignored by everyone. Eventually resuscitated. Awoke to a new life. Brain modified, damage already done. It can't be reversed. I was contaminated by the viruses in the system. You will use this experience to your advantage. You will use this knowledge to your advantage. There's no other way. At least, that's what I tell myself when I can't sleep at night. When all I can hear are the screams that once wedged through my throat as I laid on the cement floor after I was attacked. The red floor of my alley is a special speech to me. I was killed in my alley. But I was reborn a few months later with a new set of morals, with a new life to commence. Use what you've heard to your advantage. Use what you've learned to your advantage. There is no other way. At least that's what I tell myself when I can't sleep at night. <laughs>